did I make a huge mistake? Uh, when I bought my Gladiator, a Rivian R1T was roughly the same price. And uh, I thought about it long and hard. And honestly, I opted with what many of you have probably opted with, something that you just dump liquid into and it keeps driving. But Steven from Charge Overland, he's been proving my theory right. You can EV Overland, it's possible. And he's been doing it in his R1T. So when I found out I had to be out here in the Lake Tahoe area, I reached out to him and I said, bring that EV up. Let's see how it does. Get that R1T next to the Gladiator and uh, prove me right wrong. Like prove me right that you can do it and wrong that the Gladiator was the better option. Like some of you will go, dude, you're an idiot. Clearly this is still the better option. And I know that. I have early adopter syndrome. I love when new tech comes out. I love to support new tech because it helps move it forward. And that was my idea when the R1T was pitted up against the Gladiator. I was very tempted. My dad even ordered an R1S uh, at the same time. So I wanted to do it, but I went, went the safe route and I got a Gladiator. So Steven, yeah, good on you, man. Prove me wrong. Prove me right. Prove me wrong right. Bridge slide catches on my cable sometimes. I have to admit that we really don't know what the plan is today, uh, which is like breaking rule number one of overlanding. So uh, we're meeting up with Greg from Trail Newbie. He'll be here, he said around 11, which is in a few hours. So I think we're just kind of taking it easy. Oh, there's my peanut butter granola. At least I'm prepared in one way. Find a spoon. So I'm just doing a simple breakfast, a little yogurt, granola, water. I don't know. We're taking it easy, like I said. Greg just texted us the coordinates for where we're gonna meet up and it's like 90 miles away from here. We've got a little bit of a haul. He just said he's a little ahead of schedule. So Greg, time to hurry up and wait. We're on our way, I promise. We've made it to the trailhead. I'm hiding from the wind. Uh, I shot this on the other side of the truck and there was a ton of wind, but we're waiting for Greg. I think I might hear him driving up. We're gonna get aired down and see where this thing takes us. I am so unaware of where I am right now. It feels bizarre because usually I'm very prepared with the trail and the route. So my hands are in everybody else's, nope. Hello. So my fate is in everybody else's hands.
Steven thinks he's special and has parked intentionally on a slant. He's got that Rivian party trick where this should auto level. I have bet him one cheeseburger that it won't. And uh, what do you think? I think it's gonna do it. I mean, wrong. We'll see. Nope, it's not gonna do it. <laughs> All right, we're going double double and a shake oh. and fries. Uh -oh. Okay, yeah, Neapolitan shake even, my favorite. All right. All right, go push your stupid button. So, um, one in and out meal on the line. I haven't heard it make any bear noises yet. Last night when he did it, it made bear noises. It like chuffed like a bear. He walked too far away and now he has to start over. I think he's just making excuses here. I don't know. I could use a free burger. That's what I'm saying. Could really use one. That is not level. I did it. I owe Justin McBride whatever he wants from in and out. My truck has filled. Be a one double double with a Neapolitan shake, no tomatoes or onion. I'll see you at in and out. Yeah, it's looking more level actually to me, leveler. It's, well, it's, but the front is squished up and the back yeah. is dropped down. Yeah, uh, it looks like a computer on wheels. And I heard a little, yeah, yeah. Made, made, you know, little wind biscuit is what we call those <laughs> at home. You see, all jokes aside, having that auto level feature is pretty legitimate because I have to do a dance every time I want to level. And it requires me back, forth, back, forth, all that stuff. He just can't be in anything as extreme as he was in trying to, you know, show us how it's really done. So, although I'm level, he can always find the best spot and then get level. So jokes aside, it's, it's still a, a really cool party trick for camp. Now, seeing as I've been teaching you how to cook these ribeyes, um, we're gonna let them rest. Is that what you said? Yeah, rest, they're gonna rest. We've uh, put butter on them and uh, they're gonna be delightful. All right, tiny tongs. Do you have a preference? Uh, nope, Ginger. middle, middle. Big boy. Big mama is a big boy. out at camp and we notice while we're looking at the stars that the stars are lighting up funny there's a storm <laughs> so we're trying to walk around to the bend of the mountain see if we can get a good look at it I checked the weather on my satellite and it doesn't say anything about rain but the satellite also stops at like 6 in the morning so it's not even giving a full report right now so we're gonna go get an eyewitness report I uh, hope you can see me, I'm filming on my phone. Uh, I'm switching back to my camera after this because it does better in low light. And we've given this a really good experiment here on the phone. Trying to get a time lapse of the thunderstorm with the Milky Way. I think it's working and I think it's gonna look really cool. And then I'm gonna go back and we'll hang out by the fire and go to bed. From what I could tell quickly, it looks like the storm is going away from us, not towards us, but we're gonna hang out see what it does, because that's all we can do. We missed 
the storm, lucky us. <laughs> so we're gonna now make the hike back to camp, which is yonder in uh, ye old distance. Uh, again, I'm, I'm not on my cell phone anymore, you can clearly tell. That was a fun experiment. It worked. I think you can film an adventure video on your cell phone. I genuinely prefer this though. <laughs> this looks so much better. Welcome back, Sony A7S III. I missed you. So I'm getting that shot. I'm feeling all cinematic this morning. And I walk over there. And as I'm walking back from getting the shot, I see, well, let me just show you. So there he is. Enjoy your breakfast, little buddy. All right, I think we are all about packed up. We're packing up at least. And are we taking the full loop out or are we doing in and out? Like whatever's easiest. Yeah, whatever you guys wanna do. We can do the. We could go. We could cross yeah. and go out. Yep. Or we could go that way. And yeah. Go out. Yeah. I think we go. We might go back like the sort of easy way out. It's like not the way we came in. River okay. crossing here. River crossing down the way. Cool. A um, little more challenging. A little more fun. I'm. I'm in for fun. Right I got on. nowhere to be today. Yes. on the right. 
right where a doozy going through backwards. Hey, look, I found it. Yay! There's a bear. There's a freaking bear up here. What? Yeah, he's running up the trail. So we missed a turn down at the bottom of this hill I'm now on top of. And as soon as I crested the top of the hill, I saw this brown butt running away. Thought it was a dog at first, but then it didn't have a big long tail. It was just fat and round. It was a bear. So yeah, out here in the Nevada desert, little bear running around. Pretty cool. Got it. Yeah, when you pass through these two trees, keep your eye to the right, that's where the bear will be. He definitely ran past that like a couple hundred yards down to the water. There's a campsite on the other side of the water there, that's kind of cool. Oh, I see him. He's uh, he's kind of maybe 30 yards back in the sagebrush. Oh yeah, I got him. Well, that answers our questions of uh, if there's bears around here. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't expect there to be. So straighten out. So let me watch this rock. Uh, you're, you're, if you go straight about six inches, you'll clear the rock on this side, and then you keep an eye on that side. You, you should be clear as you roll past. Yeah, you're clear, totally clear now of that rock. Straight up.
were getting pretty uh, tippy there, uh, Stephen, at that first part. Yeah, it definitely, uh, it's amplified a little bit, right? Because there's no solid axle, so it, uh, the, the wheels come off the ground a little easier than I'm used to on the Rubicon, but it's also strange, I was telling, I can't remember if I was telling Justin or both of you guys, but the uh, accelerator, like in those moments where it's um, kind of hitting um, like a stuck spot, you really have to press the accelerator down a lot and then it starts to engage, but it feels like it's just gonna like launch off. <laughs> it's a little, little strange, takes some getting used to for sure. Time to throw some air in the tires. Uh, always so much fun. That was good. It's a good little loop. And I'm really impressed with the Rivian. I mean, watching that, there were definitely moments where it had to be a little bit more thought out, just the, the lines he was taking, but he did great. I don't think that there was any moment where we thought, ah, this isn't gonna make it. So, <laughs> kudos to this. Well done. That's it, that's the end of the adventure. We did it. We're all aired up, I'm ready to get on the road. I think these guys are as well. We've all got a few hours ahead of us. So a lot of fun was had, great camp spot. I'm really, really impressed with the Rivian. There wasn't even a single moment that we needed to stop and say, hey, I don't know. He just trucked through all of it. And I mean, he had to get creative with his lines, but it was never a moment of this isn't gonna work. So that's pretty darn impressive. He has more range left than I do on the Diesel Gladiator. I think he said he has about 160 miles. I'm at 101. So again, it's pretty darn, pretty darn impressive. Uh, so I'm gonna get out of here. If you haven't yet, make sure to check out Charge Overland and get in here, yeah. get in here, and Trail Newbie. Yes. Okay, I'll indeed. put them uh, down here. Yes. Go give them a, a looking at. But that does it for me. So if you like the video, please like the video. If you have a question, leave me a comment. And if you wanna hang out again, Make sure to subscribe. Till next time, Justin B. McBride.